be here. Um, it, it didn't take me long to really realize uh, why this place is so successful. Uh, you see it from the outside, from afar, uh, but one, once I got here and had the opportunity to meet ownership, uh, to spend some time with John and Kyle, uh, it, ain't, it all came to, uh, to reality for me. So uh, to be here is uh, definitely a, a blessing for me uh, to be around this talented defense, the players that we have, uh, and the things that we were able to do in free agency and also in the draft, I'm extremely excited and looking forward to the season. So I know you guys have uh, tons of questions, and with that, I'll open up the floor. Steve, obviously, you come here with your own ideas and your own system. When you walk into a place where what has worked or what has been done in the past has worked, how do you balance that putting your own stamp on the team while just keeping things the way they were? I think you have to embrace uh, the success that they've had here. Uh, I think it's a foundation that uh, we all agree we wanted to keep. Uh, and I think it is an opportunity as we go through the process, which we already have, is to try to tweak things a little bit. You know, I still think there's room for improvement. If you talk to the players, they would tell you the same. So. Uh, when, when it's not broke, you don't really want to try to fix it. And, and once again, uh, we've had a lot of success around here, and we just want to continue to build on that. Kyle mentioned that one of the things he wanted you to do first was to look back at all six years uh, you know, of this regime and the defense that they had instilled before. What, what was your biggest takeaway, or what have been your biggest takeaways looking at what the 49ers have done since 2017? Well, I, I think, and, and my philosophy is the same. I've always had this. Everything we do starts up front. You know, when you look at uh, how dominant we've been over the years, it's because of our defensive line, you know, and we've done a great job building that through the draft. Uh, as I just alluded to, we did some great things in free agency this past year. So, because uh, Sarek does a tremendous job, uh, he's one of the best in the business at what he does, uh, and he's had a major impact on this defense. So, uh, that, that was really the biggest thing that stood out to me was just how great we were up front consistently over the years. John Lynch talked about how the defensive line was really stellar back in 2019, and it kind of dropped off a little bit, even though they were ranked number two top, you know, top five defense last year. What have you seen from the progress of the defensive line and then looking forward with the draft picks and the free agent signings? Well, I think, again, it, you, you have to go back to personnel, and I, and I think you've seen what we've been able to do for us uh, drafting certain guys, uh, Ken Law has just been tremendous since I've been here. I mean, the day that I came in on my interview, he was here working out. He has not missed a day uh, of off-season training. So I'm excited to see exactly where he's going to be. The same thing with uh, Drake. Uh, Drake has been here all summer uh, working out, uh, all spring rather, doing the things that he needs to do to improve uh, you know, his game. He's gained a lot of weight. Um, uh, he's in there with Kacarek and uh, I'm just excited to see exactly what he's going to do and how he's going to progress in his second year. You know what we did in free agency with Javon, so one of the best three techniques, interior alignment in the National Football League. So uh, I'm excited, and as I can say uh, I can be up here all day long talking about the defensive player of the year. So uh, we have a great front. We've got to continue to build on that. And the one thing that I'm emphasizing and talking about, we've got to complement each other. You know, so there's different layers to this defense, and the back end has to do a great job. That, that defense or player of the year you speak of, what jumps out at you? Uh, what kind of interactions have you had with him the last few months? Uh, just through text, and they all been great. Um, I've only heard great things about him. Um, even before I got here, just his personality, just going around the league, different guys that I know and how they just ramp and rave about him. Uh, the work ethic uh, that he has, most importantly, is it, just across the board. The standard is set here. Uh, these guys work extremely hard, and I'm so impressed of just, just watching those guys work. Even in phase one, uh, I would just watch the individual period and just every day and just see how they work in all three levels of the defense. And um, Bosa is a leader of that. He exemplifies that each and every day. This defense has played zone coverage at a very high level for a while. Uh, talking to Darrell Luter Jr. yesterday, the rookie, he said he played mostly press man coverage in college. Is that an element you'd like to incorporate in this defense a little bit more? I, I think you have to explore and experience, uh, experiment with everything. You know, uh, my background is diverse in zone as well as man. And I think 
it can change each week based off your opponent and who you're playing. Do I feel like we have the skill set uh, to play more man? Yes. You know, at times, do I want to be a little bit more aggressive with the talent and athleticism that we have at linebacker? Yes. And when you say that aggressive with the talent you have at linebacker, what are you, what are you referring to? Uh, I'm referring to exactly the, the question they just talked about in regards to probably blitzing a little bit more. Uh, I, I believe in zone eyes. I think that's how you make uh, plays on the football, uh, particularly from the underneath positions. Uh, so zone is still going to be a high element of what we do, uh, but I feel like we have the skill set and the talent to be able to get in, you know, a guy's face, press man, make the quarterback hold the ball, particularly with our front. You mentioned, you mentioned Drake Jackson. What did you see from him when you reviewed his, his rookie tape? Uh, a lot of inconsistency, you know. Uh, I saw a lot of talent, a lot of skill set, but someone that needs to really, as, he, as I just uh, talked about, get a little stronger, get a little bigger, uh, and he's working hard. So I'm looking forward to him once again taking that sophomore leap, uh, you know, that, that second year and really improving and doing some good things. Going back to uh, after Carolina made the decision they did, what was your level of, of disappointment there? And what were the things that were important to you for your next uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer the second question first. Uh, my my next thought was surrounding myself with good people. Um, I think that's the key to everything that you do. You you can have the talent and the skill set, but you need players. You need an organization that's committed. Uh, you need a coach, a, a head coach, and a GM that's aligned with one another. And when the opportunity came, when I got the phone call, uh, this was the perfect fit for me. You mentioned Javon Hargrave. How much time have you spent with him this offseason and with both of you coming in new? What kind of unique perspectives does that give you guys? Uh, having spent a lot of time with him, uh, we've been talking back and forth. Uh, we do have a connection just for from the mere fact that, you know, he resides and lives in Charlotte as well, uh, born and raised right outside of Charlotte and Salisbury. So uh, a lot of guys that I coach, uh, he's real close with. So just that mutual friendship uh, that we have. But I'm excited to have him. Uh, part of the 49ers, I know he's going to be a, a huge addition for us this year. Let's talk to how his dad, uh, you know, he, he became the offensive coordinator here in 194. Similar situation to you, enjoy joining a very successful, hardy organization. Everyone, everything's kind of in, in place, and he stayed you know, away from his family and was here for three months. I don't know if that was a mandate, but like, leave your family behind. Uh, but what, what, I mean, was there this kind of three month? process of, of just absorbing this defense and, and learning everything you could? Uh, yes. And, you know, it's still an ongoing process. Uh, the, the thing that um, uh, in regards to just making the move in my family, uh, we were all on the same page uh, in, in this decision. I don't make any decision without really involving my family. So I had total support there. Uh, but I think always in the transition of going to a new place, you want to have that extra time just to be able to dive into uh, watching more tapes, staying here late, you know, trying to get to know the guys a little bit more, <clears throat> build relationships. I think that's critical. So uh, that was part of the process. I don't know on the other side of the ball, but Christian McCaffrey and Sam Darnold, you know them very well from being in Carolina. Well, how do you see their paths going forward here? Well, hopefully uh, they're going to have a lot of success. Um, both of those guys are extremely talented. Um, I'm glad, you know, that they're on our team. I'm glad we're here together. Uh, you know, it was disappointing to lose Christian uh, last year, but uh, he has definitely made a difference here with the 49ers, and I'm glad to be able to be a part of that now. You, asked, but you brought in Hartsfield from uh, Carolina and Oliver. Can you talk a little bit about them and how they fit your, fit your defense? Uh, I think it's always important. If you can have someone, where there's a player or coach that's somewhat familiar with your system, or or in this situation, your philosophy, you know, um, and he can be an extension of you on the field, coaching the guys, also in the locker room, uh, and then also in the classroom. So that was a, a, a important factor for me. He's a good football player as well. Uh, Oliver is someone that I had the opportunity to go against, been in that division, and you know. We didn't know exactly what was going to happen in free agency with Jimmy. And, and when then that didn't happen, you know, we wanted to make sure that we sort of got the best, you know, nickel in free agency. And that's what we went out and did. So I'm excited about Oliver. He's long. Uh, he's physical, uh, can tackle, can cover. 
Uh, he's going to be a good blitzer for us. Everything that we do within this defense. She talked a lot about the collaboration between the scouting uh, personnel department and the coaching staff during the draft. What type of role did you have during this draft with the 49ers? Just like all the assistant coaches, we go through the process of what personnel gives us and evaluating different guys at our position. Uh, I think we do a great job of really, as, as John alluded to, collaborating and getting everybody's thoughts and opinions. And when it came down to it, particularly one guy, Jair Brown, we were all on the same page uh, in regards to how we felt about him and what he could bring to the, um, to the 49ers. You felt strong enough to stand on the table for him. What was it about him that made you? Well, hear? his tape just jumped off at you. You know, he just makes plays. But uh, having an opportunity, you know, we didn't go to the combine. We did Zooms. But even when you are there, uh, <clears throat> those 15 minutes, excuse me, don't give justice for us really trying to get to know someone. And we do a huge thing here where we bring our 30 in all at the same time. We have dinner, top golf. And as you get into a social setting, I think you have, you know, more conversations. And I just started, he just started growing on me, just the conversation that we're having, his dedication to the game. You know, he's mature. He sees it at, with a different lens. And uh, I said, this guy right here can be the future for it. So uh, I was excited about it, and I'm glad we got him. Last one, Branch. Wouldn't be hard if you became a head coach candidate again in the next cycle. Was there a discussion about how long you I'm, I'm going to tell you, and, and this is not a just a, a, a answer to throw you off or anything like that, but I believe in being where your feet are. Be where your feet are and take care of what's in front of you. I started out at Johnson C. Smith University, Division II school, small school right there in Charlotte, North Carolina. I didn't think about where I would be. I had dreams of it, but I've always just, you know, tried to win the day. And uh, that's why I'm right now. I'm not even looking beyond, you know, OTAs. So I just want to make sure this defense is the best it can be. And uh, we're going to continue to build this thing in layers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.